this method we will be learning about the doubling and halving method and we will see how it helps in increasing our calculation speed and the best way of learning mathematics is by solving some questions so we will be solving all these questions one by one okay and again this is a part of basic math and is very helpful in day to day life this should be done mentally okay so let's get started so let us get started and the first two questions are 59 plus 59 and 273 into 2 now 59 plus 59 is another way of saying 59 into 2 so what we need to do is we need to multiply 59 by 2 and in the previous lecture we had already studied calculation using splitting and that is what we are going to practice here also so we are going to say that 59 can be written as 50 plus 9 into 2 Now fifty into two is one hundred. Okay, this is a very simple thing. And nine into two is eighteen. So what you need to do is you need to add these two numbers. That is hundred and eighteen. So thereby getting us the answer as one hundred and eighteen. All right. Now the next question that is two hundred and seventy three into two. Now two hundred and seventy three can be written as two hundred and seventy plus three. Now two hundred and seventy when multiplied by two gives us five hundred and forty, and three when multiplied by two gives us six. So all we need to do is we need to add five hundred and forty and six, which we can do mentally, and that will give us the answer as five hundred and forty-six. This time I am not even going to write down these steps, okay? Because I believe that you can do this mentally. Okay, let's move on. Now in the next question we have one sixty two into four. Okay, so when we have to multiply by four, there are two methods. First of all, either we can multiply it directly by four. So how do we do this? We write one sixty two as one sixty plus two. So one sixty plus two into four. So when you have one sixty into four, this will give us six forty. Plus two into four will give us eight, thereby giving us the answer as six hundred and forty-eight. Now the second method is we can break down this four. Okay, so we can say that four is another way of saying that multiplying one sixty-two by two two times. Okay, so one sixty-two into two into two. So that is what we are going to do. We are going to multiply one sixty-two by two first. Okay, and then thereby giving us the answer as Three hundred and twenty-four. Okay, all of you know how to multiply it by two. Then again, we are going to multiply this quantity by two, thereby giving us the answer as six hundred and forty-eight. Now again, four hundred and fifty-one into eight. This question can be solved by two methods. So for the first method, we are going to use calculation using splitting. So we can write it as four hundred plus fifty plus one into eight. So we can write it as four hundred. Plus fifty plus one into eight. So one into eight is eight. Fifty into eight is four hundred, and four hundred into eight is thirty two hundred. Thereby giving us the answer as three six zero eight. But then there is an alternative method. Let us check it out. Now multiplying by eight is another way of saying multiplying by two three times. Okay, repeating the process of multiplying by two three times. So what we need to do is we need to multiply 451 by 2, thereby giving us 902. Then again we multiply this quantity by 2, thereby giving us 1804. And again we need to multiply this quantity by 2, thereby giving us the answer as 3608. Okay, I hope you have understood these questions. Let's move on. Now we have covered these questions. Okay, so now let us check out the questions when we need to divide the quantities by two, four, or eight. Okay, so let's move on. Now the first question that is, what is half of one six three eight? Here we are going to be using the method of calculation using splitting. So sixteen divided by two. Now what do you mean by taking a half of some number? That is divided by two. So what we need to do is 16 divided by 2 will give us a 8. 
38 divided by 2 will give us a 19 and hence the answer is 819. Now for the next question what we need to do is we need to divide 376 by 4. So division by 4 actually means division by 2 done 2 times. So what we need to do is we need to divide 376 by 2. Okay, so when we divide 376 by 2, we get 150 that is 300 divided by 2 plus 76 divided by 2 will give us 38. So thereby giving us the answer as 188. Okay, but that is not all. Now what we need to do is we need to divide this number by 2 again. So 18 divided by 2 will give us a 9 and 8 divided by 2 will give us a 4 thereby giving us the answer as 94. Okay, I hope you have understood this concept. Let's move on. So for the next question, we need to divide 6, 2, 4, 8 by 8. So again, what we are going to do is we are going to divide it by 2 and then again repeat the process and then again repeat the process for the last time. Okay, so divide by 2, we get 3, 1, 2, 4. Then again, divide by 2, we get 1, 5, 6, 2 and then again divided by 2 we get 781 and that is going to be the answer for this question. Okay, let's move on. Now we have covered these questions also. We have already covered these questions. So now these two questions are left. So let's move on. So now what we do is when you have 15 into 38, now we will see how we can use doubling and halving method together. Okay, so 15 into 38, rather what we can do is we can multiply this quantity by 2 thereby giving us 30 and we can divide this quantity by 2 thereby giving us 19. Here you can also say that we have borrowed a factor of 2 from 38 and given it to 15. Now this calculation is very simple because this can be done mentally also. So this is 3 into 19 into 10. You know 3 into 19 that is 57. So the answer will be 570. Okay. Now let's move on to the next question. So the next question says 35 into 20624. Again what we are going to do is we are going to multiply this quantity by 2 thereby giving us 70. We are going to divide this quantity by 2 thereby giving us 10312. And now all we need to do is we need to multiply these numbers. So when we multiply these numbers, we get 10 into 7 into 10312. Now 7 into 1 is 7. 7 into 03 will become 21. 7 into 12 will become 84. So this is 10 into 72184. And hence finally the answer will be 721. 840. I hope you have understood this concept. Thank you.